Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are gonna do update one in my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This is a project that was started by Alexi. I will have her linked down in the description box. Also, also, she hasn't done this project in like two years and last month she surprised everyone in the panning community by posting her intro to a 2021 pan those eyeshadows project pan i'm gonna have that listed in the eye over there as well as in the description box below because she is the inspiration the sole reason that this project exists and that's pretty exciting that she is doing this project again so i am going to quick show you the color story that we were working with for the month of January. Now, I will say a lot of this focus was in the past couple weeks on these eyeshadows because we moved in the, like in the middle of like, not December, we moved in like the midst of the beginning of January. So a lot of these items I hunkered down and used in the last couple weeks. And once we were here, these were like the only eyeshadows that I really had out and used. Um, not to say I actually have been using and like fluctuating my collection a little bit more, which I'm very happy about, but a lot of the focus was on these eyeshadows. So my like slight rules for this is it's a five shade rolling and randomly drawn project pan. So I have five shades that I'm working at or with with any given time. Um, I have a usage goal of 20 uses and I can roll that sucker out. Um, I do not want to have any duplicates of my subculture palette so if i pull anything that's very similar one of these shades was very similar to it but i gave myself a pass to kind of understand if i really wanted to work on things in the future um, i don't want to work on anything that's similar to a subculture shade it's just um it took away a lot of focus from subculture yeah that's really it i'm gonna also again i have my this my intro linked up there and in the cards I would highly recommend going and watching that. I think I dive into a little bit more detail than I am going to be getting into in this one. So I'm just gonna talk about the shadows that we rolled in last month. We're gonna start with what I rolled in the first item that we rolled in, and then we're gonna go to the last item that we rolled in. First thing is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and I will have a clip of what shade we were working on and how it looked last month or when we rolled that in. And we are, oh gosh, I have used this guy seven times this oh where am i this is what we are looking like now so there is actually i don't know if it'll really pick up the dip in there um it's slightly unnatural dip i have been wearing a lot of blue eyeshadows and a lot of blue looks recently but i did use this as a liner in a recent video i I'll have my recent video that I wore the blue liner linked down below. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but I do remember I was wearing a blue liner recently in a video. Um, I scratched out a bit of this shadow. I know there's like a piece of, there's like glitter in this, so sometimes it looks like I hit pan and like I haven't hit pan in this yet. Um, but there is a very deep dip in this. I think next month I will be able to roll this out in all honesty. So I'm very excited about that. Also, I am gonna be weighing my palettes from here on out. I did not do it in the intro, but I think that that might be interesting to see how much like usage I've gotten in the palette as a whole. Um, typically, I really do hyper-focus in the shades that I'm panning. However, I have reached for a few shades in this palette. Um, as well i've reached for some of these pinks and like i think this blue and like a couple of these purple shades a few times so um i've been trying to fluctuate and use more than just what i'm panning so the next shade i was working on comes from my juvia's place nubian palette and i will have a again a clip of what it looked like when we rolled it in there was a humongous dip in this shadow this was is my favorite shade in this palette so we were working on the fourth shade and we hit pan in her. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, it wasn't until relatively recently that we actually hit pan in this eyeshadow. So I am, I'm pretty darn excited about it. It's just, it's a beautiful shade. So pretty. It made a perfect inner corner highlight shade and I wore the, it as an inner corner shade quite a bit. Um, and I'm very happy about that. So we have one shadow rolling out, which is exciting. I'm just gonna tuck it up there. The next palette we are working on was my Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian palette with ColourPop. Um, I rolled this into the project twice last year 
and I actually finished a shade in this last year as well. But the shade we were working on was Luna. It's a beautiful, it's actually my favorite shade in this palette. Um, it is a beautiful like duochrome purple, has a little bit of blue flip to it, also has a little bit of pink. I am wearing it a little bit on my look today, um, and I have been pairing it a lot with the blue eyeshadow in this project as well. But this is what we are looking like today. So no pan in it yet, but we do have a lot of usage going in there. Um, as you can see, this has been well loved. I have pan in this shade and this shade here as well as I finished that pan up. It was a super shock eyeshadow and I wanted to finish it up so I didn't get like dried out and gross. I kind of got burnt out on doing like the same look over and over. There's only so many times I can wear something similar to this before being like, I'm sick of this. The, the next shade I have is actually the seventh shade. So it's right here. Is it, is it right here in the palette? Yeah, it's right there in the palette, but it's like a rose gold, like a rosy shade with a gold flip. And we hit pan in that guy. Now I was not thinking, I was not expecting to hit pan um, in this, but I had such a big dip for such a long period of time. And then all of a sudden I, I hit pan. I wore this quite a lot paired with the neck shadow and the, the Nubian shade, but I feel like all of my eye looks looked the exact same the entire time I was using this shadow because it is just like a very like, it's, it's a very like unique and very like, every time I wear it, every look looked the same kind of things. Then the last shadow I had was from my C Color Savannah palette. Haley gifted this to me. Um, thank you, Haley. I have been loving this palette. I've gotten so much use out of this palette. I was working on the 13th shade, which is just a like matte, like a mulberry kind of shade. And y'all, I hit pan in her. I'm very happy. I didn't do that until yesterday, actually. I did like a really cool, like, I used this all over the lid, smoked out, and then I just tapped like a lid topper shade on it. I did not take a picture because I didn't wear any base makeup. We were running a couple errands yesterday and I just chucked it on as like a, I wanted to wear something, but really like let my skin breathe. I was able to hit pan in this guy. So that is three pans of eyeshadow. I did hit quite a few bonus pans. I don't want to talk about bonus pans because they are scattered amongst other projects that I have. So I'm not going to be talking about bonus pans. However, I think in a couple months I will be doing like a, how many eyeshadow pans have I hit already this year? Okay. So I just took a look at my spreadsheet and I have pretty random up. I have the numbers one to 541, which is how many eyeshadows I have in my collection. Now that does have eyeshadows that are in other projects that also has eyeshadows that have pan in them. So I am gonna roll three numbers. We're gonna see what they are. And if anything similar to subculture or has pan in it, obviously we will re-roll and we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I am gonna just roll three numbers with you guys. So the first number is 376, the second number is 183, and then that last number is going to be 406. So I'm going to take a look at my spreadsheet and I'm going to be right back with the shadows. So I haven't looked at the shades that I have, but I did pull the palettes out of my stash and we're just going to go down the list numerically. So this is not in the order that I rolled them. But I did roll shade 183, which comes <laughs> comes from my Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This palette loves this project. I have 186, which is the 12th shade, and it is a matte shadow. So it has eight, yeah, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, at least, okay, I love this eyeshadow color, and I have been itching to like have an excuse to use it. Like, that sounds really dumb, but I, I it has. I have been like, I have no reason to wear this, but I love this eyeshadow so much. I'm so excited for this color. So we have the um, previous shadows there, and then this guy here, and I'm that just gives me so much more variety. Like, they don't go, I mean, these two obviously, this doesn't go with it at all, but I'm very excited to have that shade in this rotation. I think that that's gonna be just so much fun to work with. So we will be working on two shadows from this palette now, so. 
at least it's one less palette out on my stash, you know? 376 comes from my Juvia's Place, the Deuce palette. It's really nice that I'm getting a lot of use out of my Juvia's Place palettes this year because I did not reach for them that often last year, even though I love the formula of them. So the shade that I rolled in here is 376, which is the shade Berry Moose. Is that? Yeah. Berry Moose. Ooh. <laughs> I, I literally thought it was going to be this shade, and it's this shade, which, I mean, is totally fine. Do I have a hand that doesn't... I have so much, like, all over my fingers. I'm going to get a wipe and be right back. Berry Moose is just the very boring, um, plain shade in this palette. The mattes in the Deuce palette are so soft, so I don't think that this is going to be a problem, especially since I have all of these super bright shadows. It'll be nice to have a one that barely shows up to help blend them out. So I did swatch it. It just doesn't show up because it is the color of my skin. Then the last shadow we had was shade 406. Oh, I went too far. I'm going too far. Um, so that is 406 comes from my Profusion Chocolates palette and it's the shade Groovy. What shade is that? Oh, I mean, I am not going to roll this because this is too similar to my ju or my subculture shade in Fudge. So I am not going to roll this one in, which is kind of a shame because I was actually really excited. This is another palette that Haley gifted me. So again, thank you, Haley. But it's too close to Fudge from subculture, so I am not going to roll this one in. So I am just going to re-roll with you guys. Shade 83. We're going all the way to the other other side of the list. Okay, it... <laughs> The nice thing is I don't want to pan the shade that I rolled and it's too similar to some subculture shades. Um, 415. This is exactly what I get for being like, no, I don't want to pan that. I put this on the spreadsheet for my fantasy self palette uh, as a shade that is like total fantasy self me that I wouldn't really want to use. So there's that for me. Um, it comes from my Kaleidos Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. This is actually probably my least favorite Kaleidos palette, and I love all of the Kaleidos palettes, but this is like the color story that I'm kind of just like about, you know? The shade, <laughs> the shade that we rolled in is um, the shade Quantum, which is this guy here. The nice thing though is I think that the Kaleidos shimmer formula is easy to easier to hit pan in. Um, plus, I think, gosh, that's so similar to a shade that I'm panning in my fantasy self palette. <sighs> this is gonna be an interesting lineup to say the least. Like, what a bizarre mix of shades. I am a little nervous about this assortment of colors. It's, it's, it's a lot of variety. I will tell you that it's a lot of variety. So it's going to be a very interesting February, not a very February color story if you ask me, but we're going to use it and that's, that's fine. So if you have any color combination ideas or, um, things that you would pair with this, not necessarily in this project, not necessarily that I'm panning, just let me know colors that you might pair with this, um, broad, broad colors, just like a dark green, a light blue, like tell me stuff like that, like a metallic whatever, a light matte this. Let me know that because I am interested in hearing what you guys would pair with these shades. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.